Here's how motorcycle, ATV, and pretty much all wet clutches work. Wet clutches by meaning the clutch is actually submerged in oil, which doesn't seem to make sense. You would seem to think that a clutch submerged in oil <laughs> would slip. Well, if you put too slippery of high quality, like say synthetic oil, in your off-road machine, or your street bike or whatever, it actually can slip. They're supposed to work with most of the time just typical engine oil, which has the right amount of friction to cause these things to work normally. They consist of two major parts. The clutch basket, that's the output, and the pressure plate assembly with clutch discs. This is the input. It's driven by the crankshaft by those splines. And when the clutch is engaged, those things with notches on them drive the basket. Now if you look in the middle, you can see there's six springs on this one. Those are your pressure plate springs and they give you all the pressure to squeeze this clutch together so that it grips. When you reassemble it, you just tighten down all the nuts so they bottom out with normal tightness. Now you can see all the springs because I, remo because I removed this plate. You take one of these apart, it's got notches on the inside that fit corresponding driving bumps on the inside of the clutch disc that work the same way as the driving bumps on the outside that drive this hub. Now I'm removing one of the friction plates. It looks something like a car clutch. It's still got the little grooves in it and the little grooves are worn down. That's generally when the clutch starts to slip. Then it has little driving plates that work something like flywheels and pressure plates. It doesn't really matter which way they go in. All that matters is they go in an order friction plate, driving plate, friction plate, driving plate, and so on. On your engine that's a wet clutch, when you have a cold motor and you squeeze the clutch handle and pop it into gear, your bike goes, or whatever, goes clunk and tries to jerk forward a bit. Cl these clutches are a little bit sticky when they're cold. That's because oil has viscosity. Just imagine if you had a piece of paper laying on a table the table was soaked in oil. You could turn that table upside down and even in a windstorm the paper probably wouldn't come off. It's the stickiness or viscosity of oil which is holding it there. It's almost like a vacuum. Same thing happens when the oil's cold and everything's stuck and the molecules are all, all still. All these little plates stick together and that's why it's kind of hard to push the vehicle say when the engine's not running and you're just squeezing the clutch. There's a little bit of oil friction there. Once you've got the side cover off your machine, these clutches are really easy to change. You don't have to take your motor out or anything in most vehicles. All you do is, like I said, undo the screws, hold the squeezing plate down, just take the springs off, they go in in any way, undo the locking nut in the middle that drives this thing, and it just lifts out. Simple as that. Flip it over and you can take off the whole cluster of plates at once or take them off one at a time if you like. Just inspect them for wear, like look for those little notches, that's a good thing. And decide whether you need to change it or not. These friction discs go on either way too. One part you usually never need to change is the driving plate or, or you know which acts like the flywheel on a car, they, they usually don't wear out. This one's got a little bit of rust pitting, but that's still okay. So then just drop all the plates back on in the corresponding order. Put everything back together. Drop it back into here, and you're done. Sure is a lot simpler than doing a car. So remember, when you take one apart because you think it's slipping, that's when you're giving it, giving it like full throttle, the engine revs up a bit too high. Well, first, you could have the wrong oil in there if the friction discs still have good little grooves in them. Try changing the oil first and then driving it and slipping the clutch, clutch a bit to clean the oil that was previous in there off the disc plates and then go for a ride again. If it doesn't get better, well then maybe you do have to change your clutch, but still, it's pretty easy. 
I just dropped all those sections back together. That took me less than a minute. And now I tighten these down evenly. Keep going back and forth. And that's it. A few turns at a time. Oops, simple as that.